Okay, now we're going to finish up the system. First, let's open up our World Community Grid software here. Okay, so this is what's called compact mode. If you're not in Windows 8, then it's going to look a little bit different than this. You have a different front end here. But what you can do is go into View and Advanced. Okay, and this will look much the same here. So you'll see here right now that these are the projects that are running. These are the projects I'm signed up for, so the World Community Grid Ripple Labs. So statistics are only updated every 24 hours, so you won't see anything until you've run for 24 hours. Okay, now let's go over to Tools, and I want to go to Computing Preferences, and this was where you can set up how you want things to work. Now, you'll see here we have process usage, network usage, disk and memory usage, and exclusive applications. Now, you can set over here how you want your processor to be used. So while computer is in use, normally this is unchecked unless you've set it to be on when computer is in use. If you don't have that on, it's only going to work when the screen saver's on. That's the only time it's going to be earning for you. And then you have your GPU, which is your graphics processing unit. You can have that have it use that as well. Okay, I turned this all on because it doesn't really slow my computer down perceptibly. So I decided to just let it run all the time. And then you can set the way you want it to work here. So you can just fill all this out the way you want it to work. Okay, so I just will leave the rest of that on. Then you have your network usage here. So you can have the maximum rate and so on when it's going to do it. Disk and memory, how much disk it's allowed to use, how much memory it's allowed to use. I left all these the defaults. Exclusive application. So you can suspend it when there are certain applications running. If you have something you're doing that you don't want to be slowed down at all by the process here, then you would add it into here. Okay, and over here in activity, again, we have run always. Run always is what I haven't set it now, but you can run based on the preferences that we just set up. You can suspend it. Use GPU always or based on the preferences. Suspend the GPU. Network activity always based on preferences or network activity suspended. Okay, so basically now, when you set all this up, it's going to run and it's going to start earning you some ripple. Now, the other thing that you need to do is you need, we can just hit X here, and it goes and reduces itself back into the taskbar there. Okay, now, what we need to do from here is we need to go and get our code, our authorization code, and then stick it into our wallet so that we know that we will get paid. Okay, so what I want to do is go over here to settings. Okay, and then, well, before we go any further, you can set up here how you want to hear about things. Okay, but where we're going here is my profile. Okay, and here is your verification code. Okay, so let's go back to computing for good. And then you see over here where it says start claiming XRP. This is what you need to do. You need to put in your Ripple public address, your WCG username, and your verification code. So I have my verification code here. So I put that in there. And then in my, in my notes, I have my other information. Now I also still have it up here over here, I believe. Okay, so this is my public Ripple address. Okay, so I put that in here. And my WCG username. That's the name I signed up with, so there's this. Put that in here, paste, and then start claiming XRP. Okay, so here it is. 
It gives us the user stats for our ripple that's coming back to us. Okay, so that's it. Now you just let the thing run. Um, you can leave your computer on all the time. If you have a laptop, it uses very little power. If you have a big monster computer, then it's going to, of course, use more power. So it's up to you how often you want to run it. If you just want to run it in the background while you're doing everything else, that's fine. If you just want it to run during the screensaver, then you can do it that way too. I showed you how you could set those both up. Okay, let's go back to the home page here. You're probably wondering how you can cache out your Ripple. What you use is something called gateways. So let's go down to the bottom here. And you'll see over here, picking a gateway. Okay, and then you can read about the gateways here, but you have different ways of getting money in and out of Ripple. Okay, so depending on where you are, you can use snapswap.us, bitstamp.net, ripple.cn for China, Ripple China, and just coin. So you sign up for whichever one you want, and then you move your Ripple into there, and then you can cash it out, send it to your bank account. There are some more instructions here. It gives you a little more information about how it's done. So for instance, Bitstamp here, you put in your Ripple ID, send the amount, and then withdraw. So you're withdrawing it to a bank account, either an EU or an international bank account. You can use this Bitcoin or Ripple. So there you go. And that is how you can get your Ripple back out into the currency of your choice. Okay, so that's how you set up your system.